What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you don't know, now you do. And how are you guys? How are you doing? Girl, it is like day 40 something in this quarantine life, but at least we're moving past this slowly but surely. It is starting to become beautiful outside. The only reason why I have a head on is because I didn't do my hair today. So I look a mess and just wanted to throw a hat on for today's video. But it is starting to get beautiful outside. I think it's like 60 degrees out right now. So I am loving it. But I actually wanted to sit down and talk. So I actually want to start a new series. It is not beauty. It is not skincare, hair care. So if you didn't tell from the title, it is single and sipping. So basically this is going to be all about being single, the good, the bad, the ugly, and trying some drinks. So today I actually just got this I think um, a couple days ago. As you can tell I already drank some the other day but basically I'm just going to be talking here with you. It's going to be different episodes or I guess you can say videos on just different situations you know Things like how to heal, how to accept being single, you know, how to move forward and things like that, you know, just examples. It's basically what I want to talk about. I'm 27 years old and I feel like I have a lot of knowledge of relationships and, you know, just to sit down so you guys can get to know me and yeah. So like I said, this is going to be called single and sipping so let me pour my drink already so for today's menu it is going to be the pacific fruit vineyards sweet peach this is a wine i did get this at aldi's i'll be honest with you i like wine but like i'm not that good at picking out wine i only know like two wines and i actually heard about this from someone else so I wanted to give it a try and I did already have it and it was pretty good. I mean, it's not like my favorite, but it does the job. And I'll be honest with you, I'm more of a beer person. So drinking a little bit of wine, you know, every now and then isn't bad, but I'm more of like a beer drinker. I like, you know, Modelo, um, Dos Equis, Stella. I basically almost any beer to be honest with you but for today's menu like I said it's gonna be a little bit of wine it says liquid therapy on my cute little cup but yeah so let's get right into it so to first start off I think it's really important to talk about healing so whether you've been single for a day you've been single for a week a year two years three years five years you need to heal because you honestly can't love someone else unless you love yourself. And whatever happened in your past relationships or past, you know, hookups, whatever, whatever floats your boat, whatever your past is, you have to learn to heal because you cannot move forward. You cannot love someone else. You cannot do any of those things successfully if you don't heal. But whether it is cheating whether it is abuse, whether it is mental abuse, what, whatever your case is, you need to heal. So, you know, one thing that I never really got was when people said that they had to get with someone else to get over someone. For me personally, I just couldn't do it because I don't, I don't know. Like, I just, I just feel like you need to heal and involving someone else in the mix just isn't the best idea because not what if you catch feelings what if you start liking them what if you know you move too fast and then what you're not even healed from your past relationship pat your past you're not even healed yet so that whole you know moving on to someone quickly is not gonna work you need to learn how to be on your own and be single and enjoy being single and like I said, you need to heal. You need to figure out what are your qualities that, you know, maybe were toxic. Maybe you didn't even realize were toxic. You know, for me, in my case, I'm stubborn as hell. <laughs> and I'm always, you know, I can do it by myself. I don't need nobody. I'm not going to rely on anybody. I don't need, I don't need no one. That's the kind of attitude I've always had because unfortunately I've had people in my life who taken advantage of me, who you know, used my kindness for weakness. And I felt that, you know, after I moved on from those, those relationships, 
I felt like I had to like have this guard and have this feeling of like, I don't need nobody. But the truth is, I wasn't healed. I, you know, still was thinking about the past and I didn't move forward. You need to learn to heal. You need to learn to accept being alone. Like, girl, it's okay to be alone. Ain't nothing wrong with being alone. You can't fully depend on someone to make you happy. Me personally, that's not my struggles, but I know for a lot of people that they're scared to be alone and you can't. Like you, you will find the right person when it is meant to be. And you will find the right person that all those people that you wanted to be with so bad, there's a reason why they're not in your life. If you look at the big picture and you're finally away from situations and you are single, you see that you weren't meant for that. You know, somebody, whether it's cheating, abuse, you know, leaving you and coming back, leaving you, coming back, you know, situations like that. If someone truly loves you, and you're supposed to be with that person they would never hurt you we've all been in situations that we changed ourselves because of someone who we were with because i know i for sure changed who i was for a little while because you know i wanted to please that person i wanted to make that person happy and i realized i wasn't even being myself and you got to think like well, why would I do that? Shouldn't they accept me, you know, for who I am? But this is that time to think about that stuff. This is your time. This is your time to not only heal from everything, everything, because you cannot move forward successfully unless you healed. And to also just have fun. Life is too damn short to be sad about people who don't treat you right, people who don't give a shit about you i'm sorry but like trust me i've been there <laughs> i i loved people who did not love me back and they did not love me as much as i love them and i put them first but you know what this is your time this is your time to be about you because you know what that one day like about when i have kids when i have a husband like it's not about you no more like yes you still need to maintain yourself and take care of yourself and you know not lose yourself but like your life is about your family but this time that you're single you have no one to worry about you have just yourself have fun dude go to I don't know, Hawaii, if you've always wanted to go there. Go to France, if you always wanted to go there. Go, even little trips. Like, I went with my friends to go to a winery last year, and I got drunk. <laughs> and it was so much fun. Like, and we only, it was probably like, what, like an hour away, I think? So, it wasn't even that far. And we made a girls trip out of it. And it was just so much fun to enjoy being with friends and to not overthink and be sad and you know because girl there's gonna be a time when you're not gonna be single and then you're gonna be like dang like I remember single life when I didn't have to worry about nobody I didn't have to buy nobody no valentine's day gifts <laughs> I didn't have to take care of nobody I just took care of myself and I'm not saying like people who are in relationships aren't happy but you know what I mean like this time is for you so enjoy it enjoy it so also on a serious note um i actually really want to talk about not only when it came to healing for me my faith took a huge role in it i'm not gonna even lie to you because i i lost faith in god at one point and i felt that everything that was happening to me and everything that i went through you know i was thinking like why why would God let that happen to me? Why would God allow this person to hurt me? Why would, you know, God do this to me? And I realized that it's all for a reason. And once I accepted that all that hurt and all that pain that I went through is for me to move to my future, that the path that I'm supposed to be on, it made sense. And without my faith in God, I would not be where I'm at today. I would not be finally healed. Finally okay. You know, there was times in my past that I I didn't even want to look in a mirror. 
and dang this is getting emotional i need to take a sip of my wine hold up no but honestly i went through some really tough things and part of my healing process was praying and praying for strength praying for wisdom praying to god that just praying to god to be honest thanking him and i know it doesn't make sense to some people like why would you thank god for you know allowing people to hurt you and allowing people to you know mistreat you but all of that made me to who i am today it made me realize I don't deserve that. I don't deserve to be treated like shit. I don't deserve to be feeling like I'm not good enough. And by having my faith and finally trusting in God and finally seeing the path that I'm supposed to go on instead of being stubborn and staying in the past, I finally realized that it's all he, it's all for a reason and he's like 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 I said I just I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for God and he was a huge huge part of my healing I don't feel sad I don't feel like something's missing like I don't feel like that at all and don't get me wrong when I first became single I went through a lot <laughs> a lot of emotion a lot of trying to figure myself out why did i lose myself why did i you know do things that i knew that's not who i am and my faith simple my faith just helped me get through it all once you're past this healing stage like the stage that i'm at now girl i just want to have fun like i just want to explore i want to do things for myself and just be happy and I promise you, you'll get to that. You'll eventually get to this stage where you're happy and you don't feel like you need a man or need a partner or need anyone. You'll be okay and comfortable in yourself and know that that person, that person's there. It's just not time yet. It's not, you know, it's not time. Enjoy your life. Go party get your own house get your dream job and just live just just live basically being single is not bad being single is not lonely being single is just fine and one day you will eventually find your soulmate find the person you're supposed to be with and this path that you're taking right now is all leading up to it but i just want to thank you guys for watching this video i truly appreciate it so much whether this is something that you like or you don't like you know i appreciate you guys for watching and don't worry i will be doing more makeup and skincare and all that as well but i do want to start this series i feel like it is much needed there's not really people who talk about being single so and in a good way <laughs> so I want to thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to definitely subscribe and also ring that notification bell. So every time I upload a video, you will definitely be notified. And also, while you're there, you might as well follow all my socials. Like my IG, my Snapchat, even follow me on that TikTok. I haven't, you know, uploaded in a couple weeks. But definitely follow me on all of those they're all the same it is the jams 2535 so yeah that is it i will see you guys in the next video bye